late one dark afternoon. Reporter stopped me for an interview. Just kidding. Um, it, it's gonna go like this. I'm gonna take a shot. Boom, I shoot. Uh, it, it fails, right? I'm driving, he's sprawling, he's sprawling. Once I feel his leg goes back, boom, got that waist. Now I'm continuing to drive. He's trying to square and, and get up, and we grab that wrist. I'm looking to attack this side. I want to hook trip, I want to do this. He wants to square and sprawl. He's gonna bring his head towards the other side in hopes that he ends up in the over under like this. That's his goal. His goal is to end up in this over under. See how he switched head sides? Why does he switch the head side? Because if I have this, I have an angle. This could lead to hip tosses. This could lead to our little uchimata to ankle pick, all this great stuff. So he switches his head to break my seatbelt grip. So that slide. So since this is coming out, let's get something else with it. So I shoot, I'm pressured, he's pushing my head. I go here. I'm driving forward, he starts to square. Teach me grappling, what's up guys? Coach Brian here, and I'm here to tell you about Suplez. Guys, the best dummies in the world for training. You wanna get good at throws, like Jesse, you need a Suplez speed dummy. You gotta get one for yourself. Go to petersongrapplers.com and get your own speed dummy. I pull, I, I, I didn't, the reason I say sorry is like, we always have to be careful of our speeds. Maybe I, maybe I amplified my energy of the drag, but, so don't hurt each other. Um, something that I, I was talking about earlier, when we do this, I don't drag and go so much into my opponent. I pull my opponent to me at the same time. So, so when I shoot and he falls and I'm here and I rubber him up the back and he's going here. When I hit this track, my, my hand comes out. I'm not going forward to his back because Jesse will just turn like he is right now. See that? So the way we drag, just start, give me the seatbelt. So we're here, as he's breaking the position, the hand comes through. See my left foot, this is the outside step arm drag. I'm now pulling and turning, and my left hip goes to his right hip. See that? You see how the twist on my, the way my legs are? How I twist it? You might pull him to the mat, hopefully, right? That would make it nice. You might not pull him to the mat. You might be in the rear standing position. You might be here and go, Ugh! and now he's trying to get away from here. And now you're forced to either drag him down or possibly get a body lock. You know, and then have to do a, a lift. Okay, don't hurt your training partner. Okay. So last time, shoots. I'm tra pressuring forward. He's throwing that leg. I wait until that leg, yes! You see that left leg is sprawled? That's when I go. If this leg is close, I stay on this thing. But if he sprawls and he squares, boom, I take whatever's left over. Okay, I love leftovers. Boom, he puts his head there, I drag, pull you to the mat. We're on top. Pretty bad for time. You guys ready? Let's go. So, giving you guys some combos. Get that seat belt. Rubber arm, shoot the leg, rubber arm up the back to the seat belt. Come up with a wrist control. Give him the angled pressure like we want to get the angle to get to body locks, hip tosses and such. When he squares, hit him with that arm drag, okay? That's the lesson today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time with more great stuff.